Mm-hmm. But we'll dive in. Gotta, and we'll, yeah, you got to bring us in and then introduce yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. We'll do, you know, this man needs no introduction here, Ken. This is, this <laughs> We're talking no, to. Who is this again? To Vince <laughs> Rodriguez. Who are we talking now, to? <laughs> now, real quick, before, you know, we get like super deep, you've created this league, right? Like, you're like a, a foundational. Remember, so how should I intro you in as like head head coach of the Ram? Well, you own the Rams. Uh, yeah, owner. I would say owner, GM of the Las Vegas Ramblers and NVA. I guess I'm an executive of the NVA. It's not that serious to be honest, but okay. I'm within like the core group of decision makers within the league, and I've kind of been. It's like me, Russ, Cynthia, who owns Blaze, Phil, who's the owner, and then Howard, who's the CEO. Okay, so, cool. Oh, that's yeah. way cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do we have a treat for you? All right. We have Vince Rodriguez, owner, GM of NBA's Las Vegas Ramblers with us. We'll probably work this a little bit. I'll do another intro, but, you know, I was just yeah. kind of. That was solid. It. That was great. I, was, I liked I was, it. I was filling it in, you know. That was great. That was great. Oh. Vince, what's Vince. up, bro? What's up, what's man? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Are we started? Are we moving? We're well, in. We're yeah, in. we're in. We're yeah, in. Oh. Yeah. We're in. This is to be here. I'm along for the ride now. Up now you're this. in. You're in the oh, woofer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the woofer. Dane <laughs> Cook reference. Love it. Speak speaking, you're in uh you're in the uh Holiday Inn Express, right? Or no, the the uh the Ottawa airport. I don't know if I want to give my location away. No, yeah, I'm, with, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the Inland Empire. That's that's <laughs> probably, you know San Bernardino. Ooh, uh, San Bernardino. How mm-hmm. is San Bernardino right now, bro? Is it nice out there? What's what you got? It feels like Portland right now. Uh, actually, <laughs> it's real cloudy and rainy today. It's not not as not as nice as it normally is. You know, fun fact about Portland is uh, it's not always the weather. No. Okay. We just tell people that, <laughs> so they stay away. So, so they stay away. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. And, we, and and you know, one thing, dude, is uh, we're we're stoked to have you on, man. We're stoked for you to join uh, an episode of Two Homies Chatting to hype up the NVA, the National yeah. Volleyball Association. Correct. Yeah. This is this is what we're talking about. And you are owner and GM of the Las Vegas Ramblers. Give us. What what propelled you in your realm of life to own and operate a pro volleyball team, bro? Um, just being around the game for so long. I mean, you were there at the beginning, right? Playing back in the day at Shatter Ridge High School back in That's Las right. Vegas. That's Many right. moons, bro. Many uh, moons. moons ago. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, just my journey through volleyball, playing in college, playing that year overseas, and um, coaching right after that and just being a, a lo- having a love of the game, being a student of the game. And when the opportunity arose to – because I played in the NBA and with uh, what used, what is now Stunners used to be Blizzard. And when the opportunity came to start a team, I was like, let's do Vegas. I'm like, let's, uh, let's give back to the community kind of that, that made us, you know, that created some, some – a few players, you know, that made it out. So There's a couple. Yeah, this is, there's a couple. But, yeah. And if they didn't make it out, there's a big volleyball presence for boys and men in Las Vegas. It's a it's a sanctioned high school sport in Las yeah. Vegas, right? So yeah. that's, I think that, that's awesome that you guys put one there because now kids that are playing, they have an opportunity to maybe mess around at a, a next level. So exactly. I think, that's, I think that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that was kind of my vision too because – and that's part of the reason why I named us the Ramblers. When you think of someone who rambles, they go on to different things. They, there's no college volleyball in Las Vegas, as we know. You can't play high level after high school, so you got to go somewhere else. So my vision is you go somewhere else, you play, you come back to Vegas, and maybe you can play with us and uh, you know play some more high-level volleyball locally. And you got um, some good uh, local talent on the Vegas team, right? Like, I think that's – one thing that kind of happens is sometimes uh, uh, the locality gets kind of funneled out, but it sounds like, you know, you got some Vegas legends on, on that lineup. Very fortunate. Uh, I mean, first name that comes to mind is Antoine Aguiar. I mean, the guy is st- 
still got it. it. You know, he's uh, played at Spring Valley uh, back almost when we were in high school. I think. Grizzlies. Well, we did yeah. you did you so go Grizzlies. to that Spring Valley Long Beach camp? No, no, I no. Didn't. I was like, yeah. I was. Man, that's the only time I've ever been to Spring Valley. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've <laughs> ever been. <laughs> but he went on to play at Long Beach State. He was All American there. He was an absolute stud. He's played overseas for the last like decade after college too consistently. And, you know, his presence in the gym, he, he was a uh, top, top middle blocker at the November showcase. Oh, I uh, believe for the that. NBA, and he was, he was a force for sure. Is he um, just like a, like a, uh, like just a, a next level up when it comes yep. to, to playing like, uh, mm-hmm. are, and are you pulling more of guys like Antoine in, like that are former pros that that are funneling back into to the local scene? Yeah, yeah. You know, our team is kind of funny in in the way that it's structured is is kind of unique to the other teams because we're not fully based in Las Vegas. Uh, as you know, Las Vegas has its limitations uh, when it comes to high level players. Um, so we and I live in Orange County in Southern California, so I'm in the hotbed. For, for men's volleyball. So it only makes sense for us to have some guys training in SoCal, other, the, half the guys training basically in Las Vegas, and then we kind of come together uh, when it's tournament time. But we picked up uh, actually one of our rec- most recent signings was a guy that was playing in Spain uh, this last year. I think he was like best opposite in Spain. Uh, and he played at UCLA uh, four years before that. He had just finished uh, two years ago. Uh, Brandon Rattray. Uh, he was okay. a big signing for us, so we we just picked him up, and he's going to be playing with us this weekend. That's awesome, man! That, and yeah. it, so, like, when you how many teams are in the NBA? Right? I think there's like ten total, or yep, is, exactly ten teams. And, and then there's what? An American, are, there's an American conference and a national conference, right? Okay, exactly, exactly. So it's five and five, and it's not really geographical. Uh, it's more exactly. just yeah, it's it's more like baseball or or football, where we're they're kind of spread out. Like the two Texas teams are in different conferences. Um, so and we're kind of spread out throughout the nation, which is really cool. Uh, you know, men's volleyball is, is, is growing for sure. And, and I think uh, our league is a bit of a testament to that with having teams all over the U.S. I know uh, one thing about this podcast and the similarity to the Ramblers um, is that we are in two separate locations and we come together pretty nicely, bro. Look at that, huh? a little combination here, huh? So we, are, I, we love it. I love it. <laughs> so what's it, what's it like? Just just to jump that since you bring that up because I'm interested in this. What's it like to like come together at term, tournament time? I mean, so some of our listeners might not have played volleyball, so they might understand that it's it's is it like basketball or football where you have to like no plays and things like what's it like to like not train with your whole team and then come together and compete it's definitely an obstacle to to overcome because I mean you guys played the game it's such a team sport it's so reliant on team chemistry and having your setter connecting with your hitters passers talking about seams I won't go into all the the jargon I mean you guys know (laughs) I mean you can can. (laughs) I mean the listeners don't know bro you know You're right. You're right, though. There's a lot of there's a lot of nuances in the game of, of where you need to be and when, and the Absolutely. timing aspect of it is really important. And, Absolutely, uh, that could be a challenge. But it is. It is. A lot of times with really great athletes, you find that they also sink really quickly with yeah. other great athletes. I've experienced that a few times in my. Uh, small experience in the game of volleyball and it's impressive. I'm not one of them but I've had them sink up around me and be impressive, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, me too. And and we've been lucky to get some some pretty high level guys in the November tournament. They came together. It took a set, uh, first set uh, against Team Freedom out of New Jersey was, was a little bit shaky and then they kind of settled in and we were rolling uh, the rest of the tournament. So uh, awesome. we were lucky in November I hope that wasn't an outlier or, or the exception, uh, and I hope that we can do the same thing this weekend, uh, get those guys uh, rolling and with some synergy. Uh, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, brother. You know, it's true, man. We'll, we'll take all the luck we can get. <laughs> you know what's good too? I'm gonna throw this out here just because uh, I'm getting a little case of them CMs. Uh, this juicy sunrise IPA from Windmere Brothers. <laughs> I love it. Support the sponsors, baby. I want to shout out Ariste. 
uh, our Las Vegas Rambler sponsor with the yes. Medic Gun. Great for recovery. And then we just got a new sponsor, uh, Brain Fuel, uh, which is like an energy drink. It's oh. really good. A lot of different flavors. They're just jumped on as one of our sponsors, too. So got to awesome. treat the sponsors right, baby. Hell yeah. That's Shout right. out to Brain Fuel. And what was this? You have a massage gun? Arista? Uh, Arista. A-R-I-S-T-E. Yeah, Arista. A little medic gun. They're really rad. Ooh. Oh man, Ariste, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pick me up one of those. That's Kenny really needs one of them. Nice. Ram- Ramblers NVA. Use our code, you get a little discount. Nice. What's that? What's that? Ramblers NVA. Get a little yes, discount. Sir. I yes, love sir. it. I love yep. it. Everybody out there, just Check watch all the, uh, the the surge. <laughs> they're gonna be like, oh, we should have <laughs> given that code. I <laughs> know uh, yeah, they're gonna be losing money. They're gonna be. Oh, they like, Vince, we need to recoup these funds, <laughs> bro. <laughs> So do I get a discount code on the Whitmer Brothers, man? I love that. I love um, yeah, We're working two, on two the HC discount code. 20. All right, all right. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, enter two homies chatting and uh, <laughs> tell me what happens. All right. <laughs> Cheers to that, though, bro. What you yeah, got? Man. What you got? You sipping on something? Yeah, that's part of the homework for coming on with the homies chatting here. So have you got guys, local beer. Have you guys heard of Golden Road? You had to. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. Love it. Hey, oh. Yes. Very nice. California's own, right? That's California yeah. brewery. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think they started in Anaheim, which is Orange yep. County. So I yep. figured yep. I, Go I'm Angels. Yeah. Go Dodgers, but I'm, I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But go, yeah. But go, yeah, but go Angels. Angels. But go uh, Angels. I normally go Mango Cart. That's like Love the most it. popular one, but I tried something new. It's Palisades Pineapple. Ooh. We'll see. You like nice. a little, with a little, little, little zest, a little, yeah. Little, little fruit to it yeah throw an umbrella in there are you a cider guy do you like ciders as well so not really but when i lived in the uk they have this amazing cider it's like black currant is like a famous like flavor out there Mm. and they have cider with that in it and it's just like the greatest thing i mean i used to drink them all the time but normally no Uh, normally not the uh, the two homies chatting UK episode, Ken, in the future. Dude, Black Currant Finn, Ciders. Finn Rivers, Finn River Cider is one, I, is one I just pulled up. There's also one called Dark Side, but Side is spelled C I D E. The, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Cider, but Side, Dark Side. That's great. Oh, I, I, like I see what they did there. I like that. Little, well, I, I, love your, I love your Golden Road um, selection, especially because I've got a Utah beer, and they took, um, I think they took a play from the Golden Road book, and this is a Uinta beer. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to call you out if you did do that and you hear this, but they got a mango, <laughs> uh, it's a mango, oh. it's a mango um, they call it the Mango Golden Spike. It's their hef, and they put some mango in there. Oh, little. And it's, it's uh, similar to the Golden road mango cart and they're both very good very so. good yeah i'm glad you know it trace you gotta get on I that gotta, i gotta try this mango cart i'm not always a big like uh fruity it, uh, it drinks it drinks more like your juicy ipas mm, okay or like okay. a blue moon like a blue moon but instead of the orange hint it's a mango twist yep. okay okay i mean yes, i remember back in the day i went on like a solid blue moon kick for a long time but yeah. that uh their those white are, one, those their white moons. hat is delicious still. But anyway, shout out to you, Winter Brewing, for this one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, good stuff. I thought you were going to go way back in the archives and talk about our Mike's Hard Lemonade escapades in, in high school. <laughs> you know, it's funny, too. Keep that down, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know, when first learning to drink beer is hard, okay? It's just <laughs> really hard. It's a All skill, right. man. I recommend starting with chewing gum. Just chew some gum, drink some beer, but it's a difficult thing to do, man. It's so yeah. Do we learn tough no. lessons? Sure. When we were kids, they didn't have craft beers like they do now. If you're starting mm-hmm. out drinking beer, you're struggling, just go buy a couple of local craft beers because they're way better than what I was first given. You know, yep. but like, which is great and stuff, but like, you know natural light you're like oh it's like drinking hair yeah. uh, these kids nowadays um, got a lot of good options yeah that's for sure that's i'm a sure. you know it's summertime coming up so you know what summer is for it's for seltzers summer is for seltzers 
I'm a big Seltzer guy. Yeah. Yo, yo, Vince. Yo, so I'm looking at the schedule. You guys are playing tomorrow, and yep. you guys probably got a curfew, but that's good on you. But mm -hmm. I'm seeing a link here I can watch. Can, yeah, can you, yeah. Can you? So I'm on the nvusa.com website. Check yep. it out. National Volleyball Association. I didn't mm -hmm. even have to finish typing National Vol e ball to pull it up. I love on that. The, on the schedule, you got you can stream it. You can, yeah. you can watch. I can watch tomorrow. Every match. You guys are playing. Every yep. match is streamed. I'm checking it out right now. Who do you guys got tomorrow? We have the the newly formed Texas Tyrants. Ooh. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're also a new team. That, well, they were the Tennessee Tyrants, then they became the Texas Tyrants. Uh, oh. they, they moved cities, and wow. they're going to take them on. And, and it's funny, a little storyline with them. We – so I coached a kid, uh, his name is Gianluca Grasso, played at OCC for, where I was at for a year. Yeah, great name. Just great awesome. name. You better be good at volleyball with a name like that. You know Just what I mean? Just good at life. <laughs> good at life. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Good at everything. Uh, he, we needed an outside for our November tournament. And uh, so I gave him a call, got him on a plane, flew him out to Utah, and he was an absolute stud for us. And then he wanted to just branch off and start his own team. He had a facility in Texas. His dad is a high-level guy, coach. And they just That's started cool. their own team within oh, like yeah. two months. That's it was good really for the awesome. League. Good for That's the awesome. league. Good for the league. Great. And they've been crushing it. They've been training a lot. Of, they're definitely going to be a force tomorrow. It's not going to be a, an easy match by any stretch. No, that I, looks like they're going to be pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like in good. such a short amount of time, you've already had like a team transition cities. You know, like that that right there, that's like an established <laughs> right? league. You're I a mean, professional sports league for sure. Yeah, yeah like now, now, as, leads, man. <laughs> that's dope. Dude, uh, I got to tell you, I just, want, just while we have a little break here, I got to tell you that that Vegas Ramblers logo is fresh. Dude, that Thanks, is crisp man. and clean. Do you I'll guys have a team here, shop? Right oh, dude, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that was who? Did you do that? So our uh, our CEO uh, Howard is uh, really good with anything graphics wise that we have, whether it's production or or social media. It's all him. Like he is a Dude, absolute shout friend. out Howard. So, shout yeah, out. That's shout dope. out. That's clean. That's a nice work there. And he does. He's done all the logos. He created every logo in the league. Uh, all of them are unique. And when he that's showed cool. me mine, I was like. Oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Yeah, yes, it, was, it kind of you fits took the, this? the Vegas Raiders thing too, like yeah. in the Vegas Knights theme, the like black and right gold in the Las yep. Vegas theme right there. That is yes. so cool. That is so exciting. Yeah, the Las Vegas city. That's dope. That's exactly what we wanted, and that's what we were looking to. And I also like the LAFC. Their kind of black and gold look too. Mm. Kind of inspired me a little bit with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it, it worked uh, out perfectly. All of these, I gotta say, just while we're on the subject, all these logos are pretty fire, and so it's yeah. cool. Shout out Howard, dude! This is great work. This is cool. Yeah. The website navigates really, really well. It's nvusa.com. It's it's got everything news. There's there's a news article right here about you guys signing Gino. Um, yep. There's lots of cool stuff here for our yeah. listeners to check out and. And some advertising, nice. That's great for the league. Yep. Yeah, the the NBA Insta it crushes. The content crushes, man, without a doubt. Like it's awesome. I like uh, one whoever picks like the music for some of these clips, and like especially the Ramblers. Y'all been playing that two feet like crazy. <laughs> saying, I saw the hippie sabotage out there too. I'm just yep. saying it's good content and it's exciting yeah. to watch. I do have a question for you though. Sure. Um, how what what's the travel like for these athletes? Are they are they are they footing some bills, or is it, it their ownership taking care of them? Like, what is what's a what goes into like what kind of do you get the pro benefits at times, or like some of them with with being on an NBA team? Yeah, so some teams are like all teams are a little bit different. Uh, it's all kind of your own management and your own style. And if you have sponsors, um, if you have Sponsors that give you a lot of money, sponsors that give you a little bit of money. It's all uh, kind of dependent on the team. The league does fund certain things, uh, travel. Uh, they help with travel. They help with, like, per diem for events. Uh, speaking – I can't speak for every team, but speaking for mine specifically, I make it 
as if it's nothing on the athlete. Uh, so they're not paying anything out of pocket. Everything awesome. is taken care of for them. Uh, obviously, I'm not at a point right now uh, with revenue and sponsors that I can uh, pay them a lot of money, if any at all. But I tell them there is prize money at the end uh, if you win first, second, or third. Uh, so I tell them, hey, everything's taken care of. You get to play high-level volleyball. And if we win at the end, if we get first, second, or third, all that money goes to you. I don't keep a dime. Uh, oh, you guys sorry. are doing all the work. So um, that's how clear. I run it. Yeah, yeah. They get the, you know, they get the accolades. And we, we finished third in, in November and we got bronze. So they, they got a little bit of money from that. Hopefully we could improve on that this year and maybe they'll get a little bit more. Uh, I think most guys are just fired up to play high level. I mean, events like this where we have all the teams here, you know, the volleyball community is so small. They get to see their buddies. They get to mm -hmm. play against their buddies. Uh, they get to play high level at the same time. Everything's taken care of. And, and if they could get a little bit on the top, that, that always, uh, you know, icing on the cake. That's awesome, man. And so now you got games this weekend. You can watch NVAUSA.com. You can stream there. What's the, the future look like? What, where, what other weekends do you guys got coming in the future uh, yeah. so that our listeners can start – you know, typing in their calendars and, and getting their YouTubes ready. So you put me on the spot a little bit. I know it is on the website. I know the first two events. Uh, so this one obviously is going to be the, the 23rd through the 25th. We'll go Friday to Sunday. The next event is going to be actually in Atlantic City in New Jersey. Uh, we're going to be playing out there from May 28th through the 30th. Um, so that should be a cool, uh, you know, a cool experience. We actually went out there for a preseason thing right before COVID hit, and it was a lot of fun uh, being awesome. out there. Um, and then the third event will be back in San Bernardino, uh, June 11th through the 13th. And then uh, the top eight teams, the top four teams from each conference, will then qualify for the championships. Oh, cool. Um, and that will be um, in July. I believe it's 10th and 11th. Uh, for that one, but again, that's uh, that's all on the website. You can yeah. you can look that up, and and uh, so pretty much once a month from here yeah. to July. Yeah, you got all that's the dates it. right. Killed it. All the dates and locations that you said were absolutely correct. I was following Crush. along here. Awesome. Yeah, just just again, the website's killer. So yeah. kudos kudos to whoever drew that up for you guys. Easy to yeah. navigate. That's awesome to hear. We're uh, actually because we. We had a previous website that wasn't so user friendly. Uh, we made a lot. It's been a lot of hard work going into that website at least the last few months, and and I'm glad to see it's uh, a lot more, you know, nav easily navigated and, and user friendly. And the team websites up are up as well. So yeah, there's a link, yeah. there's a link in the team. Each team has their own website. So yep, I'm trying yep. to find a, I'm trying to find a team shop. I don't know if that's up and running yet, but if it is, that's I'm gonna get me a damn. Las Vegas Ramblers hack, dude. So I funny. will have one of those. <laughs> I love that. It's funny you bring up where to grow because that's like the next agenda uh, item uh, number one after this tournament is e-commerce and getting uh, team gear. There are a couple teams that have are able to sell because they do their own thing, but we're going to try and do more, a more league-wide uh, cool. where every team can kind of sell some merchandise. Well, Which will be, be awesome, man. I'll be in line. I'll be in line on opening yeah. day for that, dude. That awesome. Thank you, man. Dope. Thank you. That's dude, awesome. Dude, I love it, man. I love where you're at with this. I love I watch I tuned into the Salt Lake uh uh yeah. round and I like, dude, I thought the volleyball was epic. Like I mean the camera angles are great. It's good, easy watching. It's I mean the commentary is good. It's this is talented. They're talented athletes, man. It's like right. if you're looking to make a, a level up in America or trying to find some 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 play that's high level to prep you for for being in Europe or somewhere else, you know, or overseas, sounds like the NBA is the route to go. Yeah, that's how we recruit too, and and I use that. I'm saying, hey, like, especially if a guy's coming out of college, do you want to play overseas? And and there's a lot of guys that do want to do that. It, we're like a bridge. The way our season is is structured, we just – one of our setters, Michael Keegan, was just over in Estonia this past season. He just got back two days ago, uh, showed up at our practice on Wednesday, and now he's playing with us this weekend. And then he'll likely go back overseas uh, in the fall 
Uh, Brandon Rattray, like I brought up earlier, uh, he was in Spain. I think it's confirmed now he's going to the Bundesliga. Uh, first division in, in Germany uh, next year. Uh, so out. we get a lot of guys. Bundesliga. The Bundesliga. Bundesliga. <laughs> so, so now you said recruit. Now is is this all recruiting? Is this is the way you're building your team through recruiting? Is there ways athletes can be like, hey, is there there an athlete in there that they can fill out or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. On our website, you know, we do get guys that will DM our Instagram. Uh, you know, and, and, and actually that's how Rattray kind of reached out to us. He was best friends with one of our setters. Uh, they played at University of Hawaii together before he transferred. And he DM'd up. He's, uh, he's like, hey, I want to play with you guys when I get back. And we were like, that's dope. yeah, okay. So that, that one wasn't too tough uh, recruiting-wise. But we do also get other people that DM us. We get people on our website. We have contact information. So I get to re- emails directly of people who, who are interested in playing for our team. Um, so there are a lot of avenues uh, in order to, to play. And if you could play, you know, we're, we're going to entertain having you on the team. Obviously, this year our, our roster is completely full, unfortunately. But next year is going to be a, a different ball game. So um, it's, it's a combination of recruiting and, uh, you know, peop- some people reaching out to us and, and stuff like that. Well, dude, that's, that's epic, man. We really appreciate, you know, I know you're a busy dude. Um, and you're, you know, you want you – you probably work in a nine to five, plus you own a, a pro sports team, plus you, you know, you're doing all these things. Um, so we appreciate, you know, you jumping on and hanging out with us today. Yeah, and, man. And getting a, a good chat going. And uh, we hope all the listeners dive in and listen to the NBA and, and tune in to uh, uh, the games this weekend, because I know I will be, uh, especially tomorrow, 9 a.m. I'm going to have my work up, bomb spreadsheets over here. Uh, you know, some other stuff over here, and then my NBA USA screen right here watching. Uh, first game was uh, uh, Blaze versus Untouchables. Yep, Blaze out of LA, and uh, Untouchables is is one of the newest teams. They're an expansion team as well. They're out of Chicago, so they'll be That's battling a dope it out. Name for a Chicago team, the Untouchables. Right? Yeah, That's pretty right? dope. Shout out, <laughs> hey, shout out, Chicago homies. Nice job. Yep. Nice work. Yeah. I wonder who's on that team. Let me pull that. Team. You know any of those Chicago homies out there? I, I got a couple of the Chicago homies. Chicago is a big, big area for volleyball. A lot of good players Huge. come it's from, a, from that area. high school sport as well mm-hmm. in there. So anyway, we had a any couple place? of guys from Chicago at Woods, right? Didn't we? Yeah. Those are the same ones. We have the same ones. Dude. There on. you go. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. The, yeah. the team that we never knew. One of the best teams I've ever oh. played on that we never got to really see what and it happened. never never wrote out. I mean, came you guys, to fruition. That was yeah. definitely my prime. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> oh man, bro! Thanks Together, you. it lets me. Oh yeah, it's let me do it. Uh, well, sorry, listeners, but uh, hopefully you don't even notice the difference. Uh, <laughs> You gotta just start. You gotta just hit hit a solid. The last thing you said, I remember because I laughed about it was "bro." So you just gotta go, <laughs> bro. And we're in. So and just, we're in, bro. Do it. Give us, a, give us a count: one, two, three, bro. And then we're back in. One, two, three, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's been awesome. Been Goodbye, awesome. baby. They're gonna be like, "Whoa!" Now they all look different. There's one guy. That guy was down here and up here and. It's, yeah, it's, I'm in the same position. I don't know. I mean, are you? Yours is different because I joined. Oh, I mean, um, nothing. I, I, um, I had uh, a couple of uh, questions I wanted to ask. If, if, if now's a good time for that, they're just yeah, simple, yeah. simple ones. Um, I, I don't know. I'll just start at the top if that's all right. <laughs> How fast can you spike serve? Me personally, yes. Now or when I just use, uh, mix it up. Now, I was. Uh, I think. I mean, I could get up to like fifty. I think. Jump serve. I uh, bet there's a lot of fast my spike serves about it. at the NBA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How many bumps do you average a game? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> What's your go-to hype track for spike lines? Oh, oh man. Bomb track. 
by Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> I, I like listening to ignorant hip hop, actually, when I warm up. So I'll throw on some like Bobby Shmurda or something like this. <laughs> anything, from Gucci, anything from Gucci, dude. Anything from Gucci, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some Kendrick. Lamar, oh, maybe. Yeah, that's Sometimes okay. it can be a little too like mellow and you know. Yeah, yeah. It needs like, to be schizophrenic, just schizophrenic, but that's okay. Yeah. I, wow. I'm with you there. Freddie, Freddie Gibbs is mine right now. If you're looking at anything from like um, the Griselda group, like the new Benny the Butcher album. Oof. Yeah. Talk, Good stuff. talk with two chains. I'm going to just tell you play it tomorrow for your boys and watch how hyped it gets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next. Gatorade or Powerade? Ooh, great question. Gatorade. Good gut feeling, Gatorade. Yeah. Which color? Which color? Yeah. 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 Good follow-up. Yeah. Uh, Lemon Lime. Lo- Whoa. Yeah. Old school, man. Classic, old school. Yeah, so get that drink. What, what's your color, Ken? <laughs> blue. I'm a blue Powerade guy, actually. I'm a, I'm a Riptide Rush kind of Gatorade. Ooh, do they still have that? I you gotta, love. you gotta dive. You gotta find it. You gotta. I'm find a blue I need to find that in stock all the time. How about like, the blue Gatorade too? Yes. Yeah, I'll drink a blue Gatorade. Blue's <laughs> my color for both. But if I'm standing in front of the cooler and there's Gatorade on the left and Powerade on the right, I got the Powerade. I don't know. What's, I like what's the flavor? Blue, just blue. It's, it's like blue. blue. Blue drink. Sports drink. Blue <laughs> sports drink. Mountain Berry Blast. Like uh, Kenny, if you're in a fast food restaurant that has Gatorade on tap, oh, or I mean Powerade on tap, are you getting the Powerade on tap? Yes, or a Sprite. I, when I usually get fast food drinks or like restaurant drinks, I usually go for a Sprite. I don't drink dark sodas anymore, so it's either a Sprite or a Powerade or a beer if they have it. You never know. One I got day. some. 7-Eleven has some lemon lime. Some of them has a lemon lime Gatorade in the in the tap. I'll go for that. Yeah, you, I would. I would you, too. I wouldn't okay. hesitate for that. What else okay. you got, Ken? Number one, post practice fast food. This is tough. Yeah, there's a lot of good choices. In and, in and out. In and I out. knew you were gonna uh, say in and out. Dude, protein <laughs> load. Protein load. Thousand sure. islands. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, I don't even have this in Utah. This is from Woods. It's Long John Silver's, dude. That's the number one, dude. That's the number one. Fried fish and fries with some freaking hush puppies. Mm. You know, I you might be the first person I've met that actually eats at Long John Silver. <laughs> this I'm, was decades ago. Yeah. I haven't been to practice in decades. <laughs> Are they like, still in business? I don't even know. Is that, that's like you're like, what? Burger King commercials are on television? People my eat at Burger King? My follow-up number one is Betos or Rancheritos, whichever you got, or Al- Alberto's, whichever one you got around to. But yeah. Big-ass burritos. Yep. That's yep. the other one. That's it's the other go-to. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. See, um, those are all my cool ones. Um, <laughs> my last question is, is kind of a, a serious question, but I know you guys were set to have a 2020 season, but it got postponed because of COVID. And I was just wondering what it's been like through that last year for you guys and how tough was it to just stay a league? Oh, uh, it was – that is actually a great question, and it was difficult. And I will, I'll be transparent with you guys. Um, we were building so much momentum moving into that – season and we had new teams the Ramblers being one of them a lot of new teams uh getting a lot of really good talent and then uh, as you guys know it just everything just put on pause so we never actually even had were able to have a comp excuse me a competition uh before that before that happened so we didn't have any content right we couldn't really uh advertise on social media and what it was just uh Really tough situation to be in, and especially with being a bunch of startups, both startup basically with the league and the teams, uh, keeping people engaged, letting them know like, oh, we're going to have a season. No, we're not. Oh, wait, we might try it in the summer. It's not going to happen. Finally, the saving grace was in November. I think there was still a lot of skepticism going into that, maybe from some of the players and even probably some of the staff, like how is this going to work out? And luckily, it was a it was a killer event. Uh, the November event, production wise, uh, mm-hmm. player experience, uh, all of that w- was just top notch, in my opinion. Especially coming off of not being able to have a, a full season, so I think that was a huge saving grace for for not only the teams and the players, but the league in general. 
and was able to help us build some momentum going into 2021. I don't think I think if we didn't have that, we'd be in a much different spot uh, yeah. than we are than we are today. That's huge. Sure. Yeah. Who uh, who's the team? Like, I know the Stingers won in the last tournament, but like, who who's right now? Are they the head honchos going into the weekend? Are they are they still kind of the 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 lead dogs in the wolf pack who's the teams that you're kind of concerned about who's the teams that you're like you know keep an eye on yeah uh stingers in my opinion are going to be the top dogs they're the favorites for me going into it uh they kept pretty much the same squad uh russ holmes isn't going to play i don't think for them this season uh but they still have jake langlois on their team uh who played on the national team 6'10", outside hitter, who's an absolute pre- – he won MVP of the tournament in November. Uh, and then, you know, it's a lot of BYU guys, a bunch of, a bunch of uh, folks near you, Kenny. Uh, yeah, a lot of yeah. those a lot it's of right those down guys. down the street from me here. That's right. <laughs> it's the hotbed, uh, dude. I played with them, like I said, in the men's league, and I'm just they, – they made me look like a little – they made me look <laughs> old. I'll just say like it is. That I looked old. I had a great time. They're good guys. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'm a, I'm a fan of them, but um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna wear Ramblers gear when I watch, just so you know. We'll just print the logo. I appreciate, I on appreciate like an that, iron man. on. We'll get an iron on to <laughs> for right now. I'll get, just I'll get you guys some stuff, man. I got you guys. Hook me up. Yeah, Hook yeah, us up. Yeah, yeah. Hook us you heard it here first. Two homies chatting podcasts are now partnered with Take the Las out. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. The voice, the voice of the Las Vegas Ramblers, Trace Venable. <laughs> no, that is not happening. Uh, this content, my you don't want to go do a simul- you don't want to go do a live broadcast on one of the matches. Oh, now that, that would be fun. That would be that cool. Would be. Two homies chatting, be. live yeah. broadcast and analyst for how can one we of the do matches. that? Can we do that? Oh, I could, we could do that. We could. I would that love up. that. We'd have to loop in with your guys' digital team on the broadcast yeah, side yeah. of it, but. You know, I would we'll, be so we'll glad. Oh, yeah. people. Oh, we'll put our people. That's my Trace. People. Trace, Trace, you talk to him. <laughs> Trace, that's not me. <laughs> but no, you guys got a YouTube channel? NVUS, yeah, NVA, yeah. USA's got a YouTube channel? Yep, yep uh, we have a YouTube can, channel. So yeah, the, some matches live, and highlights up. Yeah, the live stream will be both on the website and, and the YouTube. So Perfect. you can catch them, catch them both. Um, yeah, this is good so. volleyball. Like I'm, I'm just kind of like doing the fast scroll through some matches. The broadcast quality is crisp. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, yep. The camera angles are solid. There's more than one. Yeah. Which is yeah. like that exceeds. You know, like this is a startup league, right? So that yeah. exceeds yep. expectations. Maybe even and it's great. This is awesome. Yeah. This yeah. Is cool stuff, man. It's uh, that's that's one thing in, in November, our production jumped up tenfold from what it was before, even even in the previous year uh, in the NBA. And, and we're there's no looking back for us uh, with that. You know, we've kind that's of cool. set the set the foundation of what we want the league to look like. And then it's only for us moving forward. You know, uh, you know, I, I something I've really been pushing for and something we want to try and do. I don't know this year, but possibly next season is replay. Uh, you know, that's one thing that we missed out on. I think when you have a big play, it's like, oh, let's watch that again. You know, that's yeah, awesome. Totally. Any sports totally. fan wants to do that, a big bounce yeah. or something like that, a big block. So, that's, Especially uh, in uh, elite men's league where those happen quite frequently. Yeah. You know? It happens, it happens fast. Yeah. You know volleyball. It's just so quick. Like, Wait, what happened? Yeah. 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 Um, you know, one thing I do appreciate, too, as somebody who likes to casually watch volleyball, I appreciate that it's on YouTube. And I appreciate that it's absolutely free to watch, and that it uh it, it's easy to ex- it to it's accessible, right? Mm-hmm. Like that to me as as a sports fan, and as somebody who's trying to maybe listening to this ridiculous podcast, wondering what's <laughs> what's NVAUSA.com? Oh, let me, what is this? Oh. Check out right, men's so, volleyball. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry if I if it seems like I, I I left for a second. It's because I'm watching this match right now, the Stinger Stunners match. Oh, it's the like, final, it, yeah. dude! It's good quality yeah. and it's good volleyball. The so, Stunners are another team that are. Go- it's going to be, in my opinion, those are two top teams. They the have Stunners are good, some firepower for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do. Nice, but you know we're we're all ramblers on this show. That's right. And but, but we, my gut fans feeling of the game says as well. 
of the Ramblers are going to take it. Take, we'll just, take it we'll all. just kind of cruise under the radar. You know, that's what I want. That's what I want. You yeah. know, they don't, don't expect too much from us, and hopefully we'll come up and bite you in the ass. All you gotta do is average more bumps per game than the other team. <laughs> Side out more, more bumps, more kills, score more points. Yeah, you gotta just spike. This is the name. This this unlike golf, highest score wins. This sport's true. <laughs> no, dude, it's uh, what now? What else is this? Something that what what do you where do you go from here? Like. Are you looking at more teams? Like you guys have added a couple more teams even since November. Are you looking at more teams? Are you looking at to make this kind of like more of a, a regular uh, all throughout the year attraction? But like you said, you're kind of in uh, this the seasonal gap from overseas, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. Um, what where does the NBA take off from here? You know, it's it's a matter of making sure what we're doing right now is spot on. And we had an internal meeting with the NBA actually last night, and we really hammered home that we want to put out a good product. And, and like the stuff you're saying, Ken, is like I'm stoked to hear that because we want that to be the standard, that there's no deviating from that. We have a good product there, good production, uh, good volleyball, good players, high-level stuff. Um, getting more viewership, getting more, uh, building more of a fan base. Um, and, and, you know, we, we need to, we obviously need to grow as a league, uh, but we got to start somewhere. Um, I guess paying the players uh, is obviously with any professional league uh, that you want to start at some point, the players, the players are going to, are going to get paid. And so, you know, that's definitely on the agenda uh, in the next few years for sure. Uh, growing teams. There are two teams right now. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be saying this. This is uh, exclusive, but there's a. Uh, oh, uh, we uh, getting get the low key <laughs> There's a couple teams that are showing some serious interest, and I think that they will be joining Growth. next uh, next year. Growth is good. Yes. Yeah, and I think we'll stay at twelve for a while. That's uh, a good number. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. So I think we'll stay at twelve. Once we have these two new teams for a while, and then once we start to grow a little bit more, then okay, let's maybe bring in a couple more teams and and keep keep moving forward. Um, so yeah, and and money's everything, man. I mean, obviously it makes we want to go around. Yeah, we we need uh you know we need big sponsors to come in. I mean, any pro league, right? They have you know major sponsors that that pump in a lot of money and a lot of viewership, a lot of. Uh, merchandise and, and all of that. So we we may not be able to get to that level with men's volleyball. Maybe we will, uh, but we want to work towards that. That's yeah. that's our goal. Yep. Uh, I think you're doing it the right way with starting with a good product. I think that's that's the right, right focus, and I think you have a great starting point. And I think there's only going to be a rise in interest in men's volleyball, especially yeah. as more and more products like this get put out um, on the beach side. There's still a big push. Yep. For the AVP and stuff, and so yep. there's still there's still good products out there, and I think there's a need for a men's professional league. There's professional lacrosse. There's right. men's professional pickleball. Game. I think even. Yeah, right. right. Like I've right. seen. Uh, and, and there's fans. And, if you, and anybody, and it's popular <laughs> a lot of places, like you said, like Chicago. I think yes. Minnesota's another state that has hot volleyball. Um, where there's Wisconsin, a lot of teams. A lot of Wisconsin's teams another yeah. one, right? Where it's like you're like, okay, there's yep. there's people who grew up playing this game yeah. That, yeah. that are fans of sports that would love to to be able to follow it and watch good matches yeah. regularly. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think this is a really great starting point. And I think it's pretty cool. It's exciting. I didn't know that you guys were doing all this work, man. Just shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you and all the others, the CEO. Bro. And everybody, man, shout, out, shout out to you guys doing it, doing it for Thank the you. game that we all, three of us, grew up playing. Yeah, man. that's how we, we all know play. each other, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, you're right. I will tell you, bro. I, it's, I mean, 
Vince came in that one tournament MVP status. All right. <laughs> Led us to the promised land. All right. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, thank God we, we had somebody that's good right now because we are old and we are crusty. <laughs> yes, very much. Thank, thank God I was still in good, decent shape back then. I, don't, I wouldn't be able to do that now, but that was fun. That was a lot Neither of fun. Can we. That, was, that was legendary. That was cool to be part of such legends like that. Um, and, and that's that's kind of like how volleyball has always been. There's these legendary moments that are myths almost. And I think that now that they're going to be able to be viewed by fans, I think it's going to yeah. become actual history. So I yep. think it's pretty cool. And I think that it's the right time. Yeah, and it's, I agree. And you, and you can put stuff out there. The beauty, too, timing-wise of just – how we're putting it out there is everything is streamed now, right? Everything yeah. Is, yeah. is through YouTube or, or the, your website. That's the future. So, you know, we're, we're coming in at a right time where we don't have to be on TV in order to, to put a product out there. You know, we can, we can live stream our events and then maybe one day down the road, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Get some TV contracts, then you could pay everybody, including yourself. Everybody can pay. Right. Everybody on one year deals waiting for the next contract. (laughs) That's right, man. That's right. That would be epic, man. That would be like, uh, that'd be so cool. You know, because yeah. I, I Jackie know, like, Moon status, dude. You yeah. be Jackie Moon status. <laughs> <laughs> give it, give it oh, a ball. You go wear mascara yeah, on your yeah. eyes as so intimidation <laughs> factor, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a, a half court shot, maybe like a half court serve, and give him the check and not, not pay him. No. <laughs> <laughs> you win this big check. I tried to cash the check, man. <laughs> Didn't work. I swear, I swear that guy in that movie is like Kelly Leak from Bad News Bears, but it's not. But I swear it's Kelly Leak, man. It looks just like him. Uh, dude, that's, uh, that's awesome, man. I'm like just stoked for the growth of volleyball. You know, it seems like it's expanded. And I know one thing, too, I think we've all probably dealt with it is like uh, when you wrap up your playing days, you don't know what else to do. So I yep. think most of us like – get into coaching but now it seems like there might be an opportunity to get into this pro league the nba and then from there you know you're just building a resume right so like any other job and so if anybody overseas sees this nba tape and i'm sure they're probably like calling you know Vinny, being like hey who's ramblers number 11 Yo, Vinny. Right. <laughs> Vinny, I need Ramblers number 11 to come to my team play. You need to come yeah. play. Yeah. Like, well, that's, yeah. that's the future, right? That's what, yeah. like, you, you said, a bridge. And I think that's way yep. cool, man. And we did that kind of on purpose, is situating our season in between uh, the, the overseas seasons. That way we can still maintain those high-level players because – America produces so many great players, right? And a lot of them just either you go overseas, you, and if you're not good enough to go on the national team, you're like you said, you're just that's you're it. Done. You become a you're dad. Done. You, you become a, a dad. You get fat. <laughs> yep. You drink. You, you drink a, beer. You drink beer and, and, and yep, you just be yep. fat, and then you show up and at the it. alumni tournament once a year and talk shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens to you. Trust me. Exactly. I know. Yep. Yeah, so we're hoping to be that, uh, you know, before you get old and fat and, and talk shit at the alumni match, you come play the NBA a little bit, you know? Love it. I love it. I think we all would have tried to to do that. I think for sure. Like, well, one, you played, so you've mm-hmm. done it. But, you know, mm-hmm. me and Ken, we yeah. we haven't. So uh, right. I, think, I think that probably would have been a route to take. But I think, too, like, yeah, I Absolutely. mean, it's kind of like, you know, people in America – volleyball men's volleyball is not like a thing but internationally it's like the second or third sport in some of these countries so like you get into a situation where it's kind of like u.s soccer right like u.s soccer is now starting to make a make noise overseas with like pool of sick and all those guys Um, and so now it's like volleyball is doing the same thing it's like there's a ton of talent here yeah dude riley sam and a reprieve won a freaking gold medal right like that's we right. did that a few years, like three I mean, Olympics ago. Like we're we're consistently in the top five internationally, and we don't have a pro league. That's crazy, honestly. That's, to it me. Is crazy. Uh-huh. That is crazy. That is crazy. 
yeah, these guys are overseas warriors, and then they come and play for the national team, you know, and hopefully one day they could stay here and play with us and, and then, you know, really build some talent. Uh, and, and you can get a lot of guys because I've played with guys and, and I've known guys that are great players, you know, maybe had potential to play on the national team, but because they don't want to live overseas uh, for years at a time and, and for ten, a decade of their life, they don't, they just hang it up. So, you yeah. know, if they have an opportunity to play here uh, and then, you know, not, not live overseas and, and still uh, hone their craft and maybe eventually make the, the, the Olympic team or whatever their aspirations yeah. may be. So yeah, man, I think it would cool. only help, help a volleyball in America. Now, yeah, I agree. NVAUSA.com. Yep. Check it out. YouTube, NVA, Google, NVA USA, Google National Volleyball Association. Get and we have an app too. We have Ooh, an app on, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, can you, can you download that app real quick? You got storage. All right. <laughs> I just leaked some photos just to download a photo today. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have an, do you have an iPhone or, a, or an Android? I got I, the iPhone. You got them on both. Oh. You got them on both apps. Uh, on both yeah, platforms. yeah. Yep. Both platforms. Yep. yep. What's What's the app do? Give Give us some some content. Can we watch the match through the app? Yeah, yeah. You can oh, uh, You can gracious. watch on the app. You can uh, You know follow along with the leagues. Uh, you know standings, teams, statistics, uh, stuff like that. It's a really cool, uh, really cool little tool. I like uh, one thing I like about the website in this addition that has happened is I'm right now I'm on the schedule, uh -huh. I'm getting like Blaze Untouchables, but then I'm also getting like, yo, these are the guys to look for, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think this is epic. So let, let's see, you got uh, oh, so, oh, they got a they got a little uh, the the Ramblers. And the Stingers have swapped rosters on the uh, the website real quick, so I got a little confused. But uh, I like that they uh, they call out team leaders here. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, on the schedule. Yeah, that was a cool little addition that we had. Nice, uh, I like that. Antoine rocking them Deuce ones. What's up, man? Nice, yeah, nice we, number. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch that up. We got the Leo Durkin. He should be a Rambler, by the way. He's a Vegas guy, but. What's up? Centennial, right? What's yeah. up, Leo? What's up? You're on the yeah. wrong team, son. <laughs> oh, you want to be in the 801, but you should be in the 702? All You're right. on the wrong team, son. No, nah, he's, he's a great player. Just, he was, yeah, yeah. He's a stud. I mean, he's better than me. So, you know, <laughs> than all me these guys in this. If you're in the league, you are better than me. So <laughs> <laughs> I asked Vince the other day, I said, Oh, you need a body? I, I don't got a lot in me, but I can I can tap into a good week. And he was like, Oh, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just nah, like, ah, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, our lineup's filled. Well, we, <laughs> next one, next cool. one, next one. <laughs> oh, hey, last, last time we played, you didn't go front row. That's all I wanted to see, man. Yo, First I, I, face it is. At the net, I would say, like, no. um, uh, uh, after years of yoga, I have finally been able to learn to jump again. Okay, I love it. It still hurts. It takes um, yoga. Is that the yeah. trick? Yeah, uh, yes. yoga is my thing, bro. Yoga, you know, get get a. I'll sit in a child's pose five six minutes. Just let let these hips open up. Mm, talk to me. You know, <laughs> gotta listen to your body. You know, oh, like man. John Mayer said. Our body is a wonderland, okay? And so we got to we got to do it right. This is uh Yo! the on the stunners, Joey Jarvis. Yo! Oh, Gil. we're getting a, 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 a <laughs> top player drop in. <laughs> stunners own Joey Jarvis. There he is. Joey. Joey what a great name, too. Joey, you like, were best, best outside of the last tournament, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. The answer to that is yeah, yes. no big deal. Thanks, no, Joey. Dumb, Thanks, yes, Joey no Jarvis, for <laughs> great name, bro. What a great name! Just killing it. What was Just the first name it. you said too? You said, uh, uh, "Who's your Who's your guy from uh, that that started the tyrants?" John Luco Grasso. Uh, Grasso? John Luca Grasso. What a great name! Yeah, man, killer. Man, you know when like you watch pro sports and you see a guy's name and you're like AJ Hawk. 
You're like, yep. that's a name. That's a linebacker right there. Dick Buckus. Yeah, Dick Buckus. Right. When you hear a name like Ray Nitschke. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> Joey Jarvis, it just rolls off the tongue, dude. It's just like, oh yeah, you know, it's not nothing. It's one of those names that you have to say both names. Do you know what I mean? Like, yep, you know, yep. like a Tim Spencer. You know, like, like Shout there's out, just Tim. those people in the world where you're like, yeah, I just always say their whole name because they got this smooth, great name. You know, yep, Jarvis. Joey John Jarvis. Luca Grasso. John great Luca. Name. I know, right? John Luca. Luca Grasso. Great name. Great name. I, I, we appreciate uh, Joe, Joey Jarvis's uh, presence on the show. Um, you'll probably have to sign the, uh, the you know, the waiver, uh, yeah. you know, for the, for the rights. But uh, no, there's no waiver. Extremely that, low budget. Extremely stacks, low stacks, budget. Stacks that over. I'll, I'll make sure he gets it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Vince. Thanks. <laughs> appreciate that. Well, bro, um, dude, we appreciate you. Yes. And, and we love this opportunity we got to – Dive into the NBA universe. Um, uh, Kenny's rocking a Moab now. He's not even in the Uintas anymore. He's in the Moabs. I, I ran out. I, I had a, I had a Moab <laughs> after, so. so good. I'm going to uh, get after beers. I'm, I'm a fan of the show, man. I listen to you guys uh, when I'm driving in my truck, when I got to you. You know, make a little drive, and you guys are entertaining. I love it. <laughs> Appreciate it. I love it. That. You know, it's funny. I, I was driving in the, I was actually listening to you when my grandma was in the car and she was like, she was laughing. She you guys are funny. And she's like, man, these guys are all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were talking about stuff that it completely jumped. It was awesome. She Thanks was, grandma she was Rodriguez. We appreciate shout it. Out. <laughs> shout, out, shout out Florence. Shout Florence. Out. Flo. Thank you, Flo. <laughs> Just so you know, I got you a progressive girl. All right. Thanks for ensuring in the Subi. Appreciate you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. This, uh, as, as our bio says, it's just two homies talking about absolute nonsense. I uh, love it. And you guys, you I love you guys. So I love to be able to listen you, to you guys bro. once a week. And we love Shit, that, that you, uh, you jumped on, dude. We, uh, we yeah. as, as volleyball guys, we're trying to always – you know, promote the, the the sport. I think that's important, uh, especially yeah. in the world of men's. And I know it's grown a yeah. bunch. I mean, especially since we were kids, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, 15, 16, 17, 18 years ago, we were, uh, you know, our opportunities were a lot less. So I think why are you, really cool. Why are you giving out those numbers like that, dude? I just threw out like <laughs> an age, a gap range. Yeah, man, you're aging us really hard right now. I no, dude, you, you, guys are, you guys are doing cool things. And I yeah. – I, I, I wish you guys great success because I think it's much needed and yes. I think it's a really cool thing. And I think you're doing it the right way. So shout Thank out you. to the NBA. Thank you yeah. guys. Thank yeah, you guys. Dude. I really it's, appreciate uh, that. America needs this. Mm -hmm. Hear that America. <laughs> you need this. You need some spikes and bumps and serves. And yep. if anybody, anybody Blocks. is trying to figure out how, how do I do this? NVAUSA.com. You can Check download the NVA app. You can go on Instagram, type in NBA USA. Is that what you guys? NBA USA. NBA USA. You Check can out do that on in Instagram. Go to Two Homies Chat, and we're going to tag the crap out of NBA USA. And uh, sorry, just, sorry. Yeah, just dive in <laughs> no, and, uh, uh, and enjoy it. Like I think, uh, and you know, if anybody is looking to be like, hey, I have a cool product. I want to sponsor a sweet team. I live in Las Vegas, or I live in. Uh, Texas, but used to live in Tennessee as well, mm -hmm. uh, or New Jersey. Shout out Mo, Atlantic City's coming your way. Go, Mo pops. Go, go to Atlantic City. Go see Vince. Go see yes. Vince. I'm sure they would be Pretty like, good. Vince. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. It's been a long time. Many moons, bro. Yep. But this is uh, this is awesome. If anybody's trying to sponsor, go to the website, dive in, uh, contact. DM them on the Insta G's. Um, yep. This is awesome, dude. This is what uh, this is what the 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 men's game of volleyball needs, uh, and it's exciting to see. It's exciting For to sure. see some of these players too. Uh, you know, I like seeing like a like a Mark Lane. That's, that's oh just epic. yeah, that's just epic. Oh, yeah. Mark, big good old Mark, man. Gotta love to see it. <laughs> yeah, that's that right there lets me know that you you keeping it grassroots with yeah, you know you just keeping the local local legend. 
great about him. He he showed up to the trial. He he was a little overweight, like we talked about. You know, you don't play anymore. You get old, put on a little weight. And uh, once I told him he was on the team, he dropped like 50 pounds. What? Yeah, within like a couple months. It was wow. one of the more impressive things. Dude, shout out, Mark. Yeah. No. <laughs> and yeah. It. yeah, it was awesome. It was it was so cool. You given you given uh, uh athletes that purpose, bro, and I think that's important, right? Yeah. Like uh sure. especially yeah. like we talked about, you know, like as athletes and we've all been trained one way and we've been mm-hmm. you know, t- we've we've kind of been uh geared to think one round uh, one realm, you you're given purpose. I think that's key, yep. bro. That's awesome. Yep. You're a man of 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 legend uh <laughs> on the two homies chatting podcast. I'm sure in the NBA world. You know, they're probably like, oh, my God, that's Vince. <laughs> nah, no. Nah. That's Vince. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Joey Jarvis was like, oh, I'm sorry, Vince. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> you know? and so I, I know, uh, you know, you're doing big things, bro. And we've come uh, a long way. Many moons yes. have passed since we've, we've met. I've known you longer than the guy I host the show with. Uh, that's true. That's you know? true. So, Half our uh, lives, man. Yo. Yeah. Now that is it. That's deep. Wow. Mm-hmm. But I gave out some numbers. Yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, bro. This is an episode. I put it in explicit. <laughs> explicit. <laughs> we say shit like that all the time. Well, so guys, bro, I know. You guys uh, got some music before oh, we sign off? What you, got, what you got? Give me. Give me. I listened to the first shop up there, and you guys had some songs. You guys. You got some songs? I got, I've got songs. I'm right ready here. to roll. I could I could roll deep. Let's do it. Let's hear it. All right. Well, hey, you the guest of the show, bro. I want you to know though, um, we got uh, you know, just just for transparency, we got six minutes here. So mm. uh, or else we doing another Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I uh knock them out quick. Okay, Vinny, what you got, dog? Give us a give us what you're jamming. Let me jump on my Spotify real quick and see what I've saved in recently. I like Ooh, that. Okay. That's a really good place to find it. Keep yeah. looking. Uh, Go, you got it? Oh, you what you got? I got Graham Parsons, Return oh, of the Grievous Angel. From you know Graham? Oh, Graham Parsons. Yeah, he was married to Emmy Lou Harris from the Flying Burrito Brothers. We could talk Graham Parsons anytime you want. Love that's that. My dude, that's my guy. I, I like, like Graham Flying Parsons. Burritos. Grievous Angel is a great, great album, by the way. Right? Um, I really, I've been really into Sturgill Simpson. You guys, Ooh, yeah, no, 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 no. Sturgill. Yep, I don't mind. It's the song that I've really been listening to. Uh, do you guys know Father John Misty? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. into that. That's, that's my guy. Um, he's covered, he has an album where he covers, uh, he covers, um, love the lawnmower. I love that. He's on the lawnmower. That's, the lawnmower. <laughs> that's exactly what I have, man. Let's see it. <laughs> Love it. Shit. Cutting uh, grass. I'm gonna save uh, that shit for later. <laughs> cut. Probably while I'm cutting the grass on Saturday. Straight cutting grass. Oh, I love it. What do you guys got? Dude, I got I got two albums that have been just the heaviest of rotation for me. And I couldn't be more impressed by both of them. And one I mentioned earlier, it's by Benny the Butcher. And it's got a lot of production by uh, the producer Harry Fraud is his name, right? Okay. And it's it's the uh, the plugs I've met. Volume two is the album. It ca- just came out recently. Specifically, the song I like on it is called Overall, and it is my springtime jam. I'm gonna write it the, down. I'm a play. I play that shit loud, way too loud. Love it. And the it, second, it the, the second album is from last year. But I just found it because it's produced by a guy who does a lot of the, the Griselda group, Big Ghost Limited. It's by a rapper from Massachusetts, I want to say. Mm. Um, his name is Khan, but it's K period A period A period mm. N. Period. Oh, okay. Uh, you know the guy. He's great. But this album, it's called All Praises Do, is start to finish yeah. fire. Fire. Okay. I recently drove to your guys' hometown, Las Vegas, for work. And it's rare that I could listen to something on repeat, but I listened to this Con album on repeat mm, for six wow. hours. It's really good. Highly wow. recommended. 
uh, Elevation is a top track, also a track um, 100,000 is fired. That's your, um, that's your Spike Lines track, 100,000. Sp spike Lines. <laughs> I got, that's I why got we one. play volleyball is for Spike Lines. Spike Lines. <laughs> I got one more album that I've been obsessed with. I've just re remembered it. What is it? Uh, Deep Dive, Chet Baker. Chet Ooh, Baker. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's, it, I've been nonstop right, right, on that. All right. Shout so, out. Shout out. What do you got, Trace? I'm going to throw out uh, first, first jam that I've been jamming hard to is uh, Leon Bridges, Beyond. Oh, yeah. If you listen, oh, good yeah. th the Good Thing album is just fire. Um, yeah. You know, and then like, you just, you know, like, if you got, you know, like, it, this is Leon Bridges, bro. It, it yeah. reminds me, Kitty, we need to you have a new Rat Pack conversation, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, Next then, episode, let's do that. Then Lord Haran released a new album or a new song recently. Their album's coming out. I already got it on pre-order on the wax. Uh, Long Lost. Love it. That's my, uh, that's my, my go-to right now. And then I'm also going to throw out... Um, on the Leon Bridges train, partnered with Krungbin, uh, oh. some Texas Sun. Mm. Oh, that's a good so song. If you're looking for, a, that's kind of what I'm always jamming right now. The weather's getting nice too, so mm -hmm. you know I'm kind of. But I've been into this folk, like country, yeah. not country music, but like, uh, well, Krungbin, and, and you know, yeah, I'm just yep. into some. You know, I love it. Yeah. We 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 are always sharing music though from the, from the days of Yo. the starting line and fallout. <laughs> you know, that's right, man. That's what started. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Actually, that, e that even circled about that's that even circled about to me via you guys. So yeah, that's that. cool. You said Chet Baker, right? Mm -hmm. Trumpet player, jazz. That's My guy, right, Vince. We need to talk. We need to talk yes. more about this stuff because you have great taste in music, Vince. Thanks, brother. And some guy doing awesome things in volleyball, dude. It was a pleasure, pleasure to drink a beer and chat with you. Appreciate oh, man. you. Um, a pleasure is all mine. I was stoked to be here, guys. You guys are awesome. Bro, you're our, you're our third guest ever. And uh, we hope, you know. Third time's a charm. I know Kenny <laughs> as well. You're a legend, uh, dude. You're a legend. Yeah. You're awesome. We, I wish you uh, nothing but luck and anything that that occurs with with this i hope this endeavor uh gives we'll be you exactly watching tomorrow too hell yeah we will thank you be guys watching that thing nba usa.com mm. thank Check you guys out. thank Thanks, you guys bro hey we love you and we appreciate you and thank you everybody for listening love you guys Two homies chatting with this from the nba usa.com Ooh, that was solid go around love that Go Ramble on, baby. No. Ramble on. That's what we do on this Ooh, show. The also. Zeppelin Ooh, song. Ramble. You can Zeppelin <laughs> song that. Oh, I love it. Ooh, that's oh, fresh. You're epic, bro.